there was a nude protester uh, out there in Portland. This woman, this uh, uh, attractive woman, came out naked. Uh, nothing, nothing on her. She just came out and she strutted to the front, and then she sat down, legs as a, a, a jar. Her legs were a jar towards the police, and the police went, ah, like, I'm assuming that's what they did under all their masks, just like that 80s movie, anytime they saw like a cheerleader coming out, ah, like whatever that meant, that's, I, I guess that's what the cops did, um, very brave of her, uh, these were my thoughts on, on, on that lady going out there naked, one, I want her confidence, I would love to have that kind of body positivity about myself. Because I remember when that made news that she went out there naked, that same night I put a shirt on for the pizza delivery guy. I ordered Domino's and I was there with shorts and no shirt on and I'm like, ah, he doesn't want to see this. So I put a shirt on and accepted a pizza. And she went out there with everything. Just heart on her sleeve and two more on her chest. Just, she's out there. And I'm like, I want that kind of confidence. I want that kind of, you know, just no shirt. I'm willing to bend over and watch my torso crinkle together in the least attractive position possible for my body and just be out there like, what's up, fellas? And the other positive thing about this is uh, women have been fighting for equal rights in this country forever. And the struggle still continues. But this is one like thing that women definitely have over men is the protesting naked or just being naked in public because i was thinking about that like if that was me if i went out to that protest naked they would the cops would have shot me before i ever sat down like that woman did a whole like strut up to the front and then she sat down bam there's everything that wouldn't happen to me i would have strutted out there and before i even sat down those cops would have played like carnival games with my genitals and like hey who can shoot them now? they would have shot my good and plenties into the fifth row of that protest they would have treated it like a carnival afterwards like two cops leave like a giant stuffed animal and a big cotton candy thing it would have been it for me it would have been nothing i would have never made it to the sitting down position i would have came out of my little honda fit butt naked and they would have shot me before I even made it to the front. They'd be like, ah, oh, that guy's naked, bop, bop, bop. And I get it. The male body is utterly unattractive. It's not good. Even the best one is okay. Like, who, whatever dude has the best body, you see it naked. I mean naked. I don't mean without a shirt on, because there's plenty of dudes out there just jacked to the gills, and then you look at their body, you're like, that's a good body. Like, pretty much every soccer player. You see that guy without a shirt, and you're like, how do I get that? Oh, run constantly for three hours? All right, I'm good. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the male genitalia, I believe it's pronounced. Not a good look. It's gross. It's gross in its best form. And women are just, that's what you got over us. We got to figure out the pay scale thing because that thing still has some comeuppance for you guys. But as far as protesting naked or being naked in public, Keep running with that. Big fan over here. Big fan.